Hello, Red Rob here. Uh, today we're going to work on my old Ford truck a little bit. I've uh, been having trouble with the brakes and was changing tires on it and run into a big obstacle. My caliper slide pins right here was stuck. Wouldn't move and this is the outer brake pad and this was the inner brake pad. See how it's all swapped down and so on and you can see right there that the outer pad had not been touched. So I'm going to attempt to clean that up a little bit with my die grinder right here and see if I can get it straightened out and I'm going to turn the camera off because I know it's going to be a mess and so once I get it done we'll come back and look at it again. Okay, I got this thing cleaned up now see how it looks in there and <clears throat> kind of hard to show the other side yeah, see it. it's going to let me twist it I didn't take all the rust pits out of it but I got it fairly decent shape where it won't turn up tear up those brake pads when I put them on it and uh, what I'm going to do now, I have knocked out all of these little bushings out of these holes here. That's where the caliper slide rides. And now we're going to clean them up a little bit. We've got a little bit of rust in them, and that's what I think stuck it on. Somebody might want to know why I didn't take a rotor off and have it turned. Biggest reason is because it's almost down to its minimum. And the cheapest I found these rotors is $100 a piece. This particular style. I've got a one ton front end under this truck, but uh, the rotor on this side is off of a three quarter ton. And uh, I didn't know that until I got into it and already ordered the rotor for a one ton. One the other side is one hood. But I can't buy a hood nowhere for one hood, so I'm going to have to go with what I got. That's kind of how it is when the folks folks. And I think that there, get most of that rust out of there. What I'm going to do is put anti-seize in it to keep it from uh, hopefully from binding up again. This old truck, it'd do good to get a thousand miles a year on it. All I, when I was farming it, I used it to uh, haul hay with, but I've about slacked off on the farming side. So, uh, The uh, biggest thing I use it for now is to haul wood with. Like I say, I heat my house with wood through a water stove through radiant heat under the floor. And uh, so I have to keep hauling wood pretty regular.
think we got her cleaned up there pretty good now. Y'all excuse me a minute. Cool air making sinuses drip. Have it been? I was raised on a dairy farm. Lived there till I was 25 years old. Decided I needed to make more money than what I was. So I went to work in the cotton mill. Stayed there about five years. And it got to the point, old train back in between the mills, and I felt like just stepping on it and riding on. So I quit there and went to driving a truck. Made as much driving the truck as I was in a week that I made a month in the cotton mill. Between driving trucks and working on vehicles, that's mostly what my life's been. Get the dog old thing out of there. <coughs> Put new bushings in it. Should help too. bolts that was in it, I had to cut the nuts off of them and drive them out with a big hammer.
Yeah, when I got in here, this old thing was sitting cockeyed. It took a whole lot of beating to get it out of there. I used to work with he used to say about the anti-seeds get a little bit on your finger and half hour later it was coming out your tail that's about right because that stuff will spread all over the place had to pop back out down there. So what we'll do is we'll see if we can't drive it back in with this caliper. Or with this bracket anyhow. in the hole. don't want to hold them things.
Okay, that's the guider now. We'll have to get up and go get something off I got. cleaner in there to get that oil off of them things where I had so much trouble getting them off. the rest of the world calls that type file, but that, around here we call it a rat tail file.
would have to put it in backwards, wouldn't you? Your lining's always got to be towards your rotor. jumped into place so easy. With this style brake, one of the easiest ones ever was to reline if everything ain't messed up. brake lines and rebuild the caliper. shop leaks. Of course, as you can probably tell, I'm working outside. I'm basically a shade tree mechanic. If you want to call that, or a shade tree tinkerer, one or the other. I'm going to put new brake lines on it and I'm going to rebuild the calipers and I'm going to put a new brake master cylinder on the thing too. But as we go along, we'll try to cover it all. But this is all for the day. Goodbye.
we uh, believe we'll end the video here and put out a new one when we get ready to do the brake caliper. This video is kind of long, but uh, if you'd like to keep up with it, please subscribe and also check the like button. If you have any comments and would like to say anything, please make a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. it uh, all you men over 50, please get your PSA checked to make sure you don't have prostate cancer. Thank you. Bye.